what's going on, YouTubers. I'm about to bring you a message from Spirit. Talk to me, Spirit. This is uh, not going to be dated. So when you read this or listen to this video, this message is meant for you. Time is fluid. So in this reading, it might bring up the past, present, or future. That's how time flows. If it resonates with you, I am very happy. If it don't, don't force it. If you want a personal reading with me, you can book on my website and get a personal reading for me. Now, I am now offering one hour readings. Those also is an option if you want to. Um, I ask you to please like, subscribe, and comment to get this flowing so I can get more viewers so they can get the message also. Let's give them something to talk about. Today, we're going to be talking about divine masculine and divine feminine. So, I will give what's goes on with the divine masculine and what's going on with the divine feminine. What messages do you have for them today? Show me clearly. Talk to me loudly. One more card. For some of y'all at the bottom of the deck, we have revealing the past. A lot of y'all need to let go of the past because the past is hindering you from growth, from growing, going into your future. Someone that you're involved with is having inadequate uh, behavior. It's because they no longer into you. If you're noticing they're more cold-hearted towards you, they nonchalant, they not initiating sex with you anymore. If they do, they just laying there like a robot, like they really don't care. Spirit is saying it's because they've been inadequate and that contract is about to end. Some of y'all um, in relationship or is hiding the truth from your partner or it's going to be revealed. Spirit is saying start making plans. Because some of y'all are about to move out of this situation. Some of y'all are about to uh, become one with someone else. So start making plans soon. Some of y'all are going to start traveling. Spirit is saying only give your loyalty to people that's loyal to you. Stop trying to fix somebody that does not want to be fixed. In other words, you are what you attract. So if you're wondering why you keep having fucked up relationships or you keep attracting the same type of relationship, that's a sign saying it's time to start working on you, start loving you, start breaking those chains and those holes and, and start releasing things that does not resonate towards you so you can move into a better relationship. Sometimes you're, it's not working it's because your ancestors are saying you need to take time to heal. If you start noticing the red flags and start noticing different signs, everything, that's the signs for the universe. So the truth is starting to be revealed. They, you're starting to see the truth into people. And you're like, this is why this is not working. Because y'all trying too hard. And y'all don't honestly know what y'all want. Can I get a message regarding this loyalty card? Someone is going to start seeing the truth starting this winter, this fall, winter. You're going to start this. Uh, I'm hearing a relationship is about to end for some of y'all. Some of y'all are mourning uh, someone. Mourning doesn't always mean death. Mourning can also uh, mean that you're mourning a relationship that lost, that you lost. It's, it's no longer connected. You're starting to see the truth that this person is like, you upstairs, this person downstairs, or this person's in another room, and this is the person's in another room. Y'all used to have conversations all the time. Y'all understand that the conversations are very short. Um, the truth is being revealed. Start making plans, knowing that this is about to end, that it's no longer. Some of y'all are mourning the people that y'all lost. Spirit is saying they are with you constantly. The body's dead, but the soul lives forever. Um, 
Someone lost a parent or a grandparent or someone they love this past winter and it's going to be a year this winter. Spirit is saying you're going to have to let them go so they can come back and be that ancestral guide for you. Can I get one card hiding the truth, Spirit? You have the loyalty uh, card twice. Y'all got to understand some of these people in this relationship, it's not being loyal to you. They hiding the truth from you. So you need to go deep within and ask your ancestors, but be ready to get the truth revealed. Some of y'all are doing the hombre camino or which in other words, open road. And you're starting to see things are happening to you. And you be like, why? It's because that door is closing to that relationship. That door is closing to that job. That door is closing to... Uh, some of your customers, some of your customers is toxic because they starting to get too attached and too comfortable with you and they not respecting you. You got to understand when you do a business, your customers, it's not your friends. It's there to help you. So it's like you have to know the difference between business and personal because some of these customers are taking business as personal and they interfering with it. You got to also understand that you have to tell people you have a cutoff time. Especially when you're doing readings or any type of business. You're not going to knock on the door when Walmart says close and, oh, I need a gallon of milk. They're going to say you need to come back in the business hours and get that gallon of milk. Okay, you have to start setting boundaries because people are starting to take advantage of you. Under the hidden truth, um, the truth is being revealed when y'all see 555. That means wisdom, wake up call. you hiding the truth. Spirit is saying they revealing the truth to you. You ask for signs from your ancestors. You ask for signs from your spirit guides. And they showing you through the number 555. It means wisdom, wake up call, time to move in a whole new direction. Because they're revealing the truth. They start, you're starting to see the people for who they truly are. What's up with this making plans spirit? What do they need to be making plans on? For some of y'all, look for, uh, start making plans for the month of July, August, and October, I'm hearing. Under making plans, we have the spider. Some of y'all are weaving yourself into your own web. Y'all trying to stay in a relationship that's broken. Babies, you cannot fix a broken mirror. It's, it's, it's done. You have to either replace it and go get a new one. Or a bigger, better one, however you want to put it. But Spirit is saying, y'all need to make plans for it because in July, August, and October, some of y'all are going to be moving away from a situation. Somebody is going to begin a relationship and someone is going to be ending a relationship. What's up with this inadequate card, Spirit? Under this inadequate card, you have indestructible. Indestructible. It's on. It's done. It's ended. Some of them are not supporting you financially. They're not holding up their weight. Someone is going to meet someone that's going to help you financially. But this inadequate and this uh, indestructible is done. Spirit is saying it is done. What does my divine feminine need to know about this relationship regarding divine masculine? What do they need to know about this loyalty? What do the divine feminine need to know about the divine masculine? He's it's not being loyal to you. It's because he's holding on to the past. When he's there with you, he's not really there with you. He's thinking about someone in the past that he gave his heart to that he's truly loved. He's mourning over this relationship. He's mourning over this. He's not loyal to you. Can I get one divine masculine card for the divine feminine about hiding the truth? What does the divine feminine need to know about this divine masculine? One card, please. Suppression. Not allowing self to think or feel things. Bottling up emotion. Hiding the truth. Hiding the truth. This person is, is not hide, is hiding the truth from you. He or she is not being real to you. Because this is a divine masculine card, he is not being true to you. He's lying to you. He's compromising. He's just there by body, but he's not there mentally because he's thinking about someone from the past. 
That's why the sex is not like how it used to. That's how come the conversation is not like it used to. He don't give a fuck what you wear or do anymore. He just don't give a fuck anymore because he's not there mentally. He's just there physically. It's gone. What's up with what this uh, making plans card for the divine masculine? What do the divine feminine need to know? One card, please. One card, please. They want you to wake up and start seeing the signs. You ask for it. You're stuck in a relationship you don't want to be in. You keep attracting the same type of relationships because you're not taking the time to heal. It's like you don't care. So if you don't care, they don't care. One more card for this making plans. Synchronicities. That's what I'm saying. They showing you all type of signs. Synchronicities. Start asking for signs. If you said ancestors, God, whatever you want to call upon, is this person cheating on me? Give me a sign. Sometimes they're showing you numbers. Sometimes they're showing you some numbers. This is a wake-up call. They're showing you the hidden truth. What's up with this inadequate? What does a defined feminine need to know? Y'all asking for synchronicities. Y'all asking for signs. Y'all asking for omens. They giving it to you. But are you willing to accept what they giving to you? Because you don't want to. Under this inadequate, you have independent. He don't, he's independent. He don't want to be with you anymore. He don't give a fuck what you do anymore. He's complete. He wants someone else. He's yearning for someone else. For some of y'all, he's not spiritual. And you are. For some of y'all, you're not spiritual. And he is. And you don't complete him. He's searching for his own uh, tribe, his own type of yokes, his own demigoddess. That's what I'm saying. What does the divine masculine need to know about the divine feminine regarding this loyalty, this mourning, this past life? One card. What does the divine masculine You too needy. You always nitpicking about something. You always nagging about something. You always bitching about something. Damn if you he do, damn if you don't. You never satisfied. That's why he's getting tired. He, you're never satisfied. Every time he comes home, that's what you are. You big a snake. You're attacking him. It's like, damn. Spirit is telling y'all to be still. Y'all need to meditate. Have faith. Tunnel vision. It's because y'all seeing what y'all want to see. This relationship is over. That's what I'm picking up. The relationship is over. He's like, when he come in, he's like, he don't want to focus no more. You don't want to focus no more. You know, it's like, it's not there no more. Hidden truth, waking up, soul tribe. Y'all both searching for your soul tribe. Okay, he's searching for his, you searching for yours. Like I said, if he's spiritual and you're not, y'all not spiritually yoked, vice versa. If you're spiritual, awakening and he's not it's not yoke so it's like y'all both manifesting and calling out for your soul tribe y'all demigod and y'all demigoddess so a lot of this is going to end spirit is saying start making plans start getting rid of stuff so y'all can have a simple move because there's going to be a change in your life man she's feeling detached She's, she doesn't want to talk to you. She used to come home and tell you all her business and stuff like that. She don't want to open up to more. She, like I said, she just laying there like a robot. She doesn't want it. She's getting detached from you because she's trying to manifest the person that she's uh, supposed to be with. One more card for what does the divine masculine need to know about the divine feminine? She's not into you no more, bruh. One more card. What do the divine masculine need to know about the divine feminine? She's burnt out with the same bullshit. It's the same shit, different day. It's like you got an excuse why you was late, why your phone is down, why you doing this, why you doing that. She's getting burnt out because she's starting to know that you're a liar. She's an empath and she's, and she's, how can I put this? There's no passion down. The fire went out. She's an empath, so she's picking up on your lies. You know, it's like making plans because I'm telling you, it's about to end. It's about to end. The faith is gone. There's no more faith in this.
What does the divine masculine need to know about the divine feminine? The love is gone. They no longer in love with you. They love you, but they no longer in love with you. In other words, they don't give a fuck anymore. This relationship is about to end. Because y'all manifesting who y'all truly want to be. The mass is about to come down. Y'all going to see the truth in both situations. This is regarding divine feminine and divine masculine. This is revolving a Pisces. So I might be talking to a Pisces, a Pisces male. That's tired being with his female. The contract is ended. It's burnt out. They burnt out. The faith is gone. They don't want you anymore. This is regarding, can I get one more for the Divine Masculine? Someone has a mistress because they detach from you. That's why I said their body is there with you, but mentally they're not there with you. Someone has a mistress and the truth is about to be revealed. And it's with a Gemini. This Gemini has a mistress. This can be masculine or feminine that I'm picking up. So it, both of y'all are cheating or he's cheating or she's cheating. They done with it. They don't think the relationship is sacred anymore. It became a challenge. It's, it's not worth the energy. They done. They tired. They really tired. What else do they need to know about this love life? So between July and October, there's going to be some changes in people's relationships. Some good, some bad. Some moving together and some moving apart. Reconciliation. Forgiving and learning. Getting to know each other. For those that's getting separated from the relationship, you need to spend time alone and Get to know you because eventually your soul tribe of the man or woman that's coming into your life is going to start coming to you. They want you to start getting to know each other better. And this is going to be a reconciliation. Someone that you used to have past ties with in this lifetime and another lifetime. Um, this is going to be new in this lifetime. So Spirit wants y'all to uh, get to know each other better. There's going to be no more heartache. Y'all going to go in peace. Y'all knew this was coming. Like I said, it's done. It's like you've been hurt and now you're taking it out. It's like you become numb. You don't care anymore. You're going to tell he or she the truth that you no longer want this relationship that has grown apart. Neither one of y'all are bringing it to the table. Like I said, you can't bro bro um, fix a broken mirror. Someone is going to try to make you do something against your will. You can't force somebody to stay with you if they don't love you. That that's that's wrong. You can't keep somebody who don't want to be kept. So the moral of the story is right now is relationships is about to end because that contract's ended. Y'all did what y'all had to do. There's no more healing. There's more nothing. If y'all have children involved, your children are going to get taken care of by a step parent. But that relationship that you're in is about to end because it's time for you to be with the one that you're truly with. Once again, if this does not resonate with you, that is fine. If it resonates with you, I'm glad it did. Y'all be blessed. Peace. Namaste. I see y'all.